In this video, we would be solving this part of the question 4.14, which says where x is the number of singles you solve for in the previous part. Mark the point x divided by 2,5 on your graph. And uh, is the utility at x divided by 2,5 greater than or less than or equal to the utility at 0, 10? And is this consistent with the batter having convex preferences between singles and home runs? So, so there are two subparts to it where we first have to compare the utilities between these two consumption bundles. And the second is we have to see whether the preferences are convex or not. So let's begin with the first part. First note that from the previous part, we know that x took a value of 20. So your consumption bundle x divided by 2,5 becomes 20 divided by 2,5 since x is taking the value of 20. So this becomes 10,5. Thus the question asks us to compare the utility at 10,5 and the utility at 0, 10. We have to see whether the utility is greater than, less than or equal to. So for and we also know that utility takes the form of x plus y divided by x plus 4y divided by 100. This is in continuation to the previous part. So that's why I'm taking the same utility formula which I used in the previous part. You can refer to my previ previous video if you do not understand this formula and where this is coming from. Now let's evaluate the utility at the two consumption bundle. Firstly, we'll be evaluating at 10, 5 where x takes the value of 10 and y takes the value of 5. Substituting the value of x with 10 and y with 5, that becomes 10 plus 5 multiplied by 10 plus 4 into 5 divided by 100. This becomes 15 multiplied by 30 divided by 100 and that is nothing but 4.5. Now let's calculate the utility at 0, 10. That would be here x has taken the value of 0 and y is taking the value of 10. So substituting the values of x and y that would be 0 plus 10 multiplied by 0 plus 4 into 10 divided by 100. This is nothing but 10 multiplied by 40 divided by 100 and that would be 4. Now clearly 4.5 is more than 4 that means the utility at 10,5 is greater than the utility at 0, 10. So the answer here is greater than that is the utility at the consumption bundle 10,5 is greater than the utility at consumption bundle 0, 10. Before that the question also asks us to mark the point 10,5 that is x divided by 2,5 on our graph. So this was the graph given to us where on the x axis we have singles and on the y axis we have home runs. And we already plotted the point 0, 20, 0 and 0, 10. Now we have to plot the point 10, 5 which would lie here. So here batter is hitting 10 singles and 5 home runs. Now let's come to the last sub part which says are the preferences convex or not. So let's quickly revise the definition of convex preferences. This says the preferences are convex if the consumption bundle x1, x2 is indifferent to the consumption bundle y1, y2. Then the weighted average bundle or the combination bundle which is evaluated as tx1 plus 1 minus ty1, comma tx2 plus 1 minus ty2 is weakly preferred to the consumption bundle x1, comma x2 for all such that t is between 0 and 1 and 0 and 1 are both included. Now, in simple term, convexity says that the consumer prefer averages to the extremes. So, if the consumer is indifferent between x and y, then she prefers the weighted average tx plus 1 minus ty to either x or y. So, here th this co consumption bundle x1, x2 and consumption bundle y1, y2 are your extreme consumption bundles and this is your weighted average consumption bundle. Here we do not really have to calculate your weighted average consumption bundle. This is this is the simplest example you can deal with where you can clearly see your consumption bundle are extreme. Since here either the consumer is only hitting home runs, only hitting singles. So he is dealing, he is operating in the extreme scenarios where he is hitting either only home runs or singles. So if we see and try find a combination where he's hitting some of the singles and some of the home runs, that would be nothing but our weighted average bundles. And since t is between 0 and 1, where 0 and 1 are both included, that means and t is a real number. 
that means if we try and plot various weighted average bundles they would trace out to this straight line pardon my drawing it does not seem to be exact straight but you get my point that this is trace out to be a straight line now note one thing here that your consumption bundle 10 comma 5 is lying on this straight line that means this is your weighted average bundle you can also see it from mathematical point of view that if you would have taken the value of t as 0 0.5 that means you're giving the equal weightage to this consumption bundle and this consumption bundle then you would reach out to this point that means if I take half of this consumption bundle, that would would be 0, 0,5. And if I take half of this consumption bundle, that would be 10, 5, 10, 0. And if I add both these up, I would reach up to this consumption bundle. Oh, let's come to the definition and see whether their preferences are convex or not. Now note that uh, the convexity says if the consumer is indifferent between two consumption, two extreme consumption bundles. From previous part, we know that the consumption bundle 0, 10 and 20, 0 lie on the same IC. That means same indifference curve, where IC stands for indifference curve. And here we know that these are your two extreme bundles. So since these are two your extreme bundles and they are lying on the same indifference curve, the consumer would be indifferent between them. Now we have to see whether the consumer prefers the weighted average bundle to do to these weight, uh, extreme bundles or not for the for that two ways either you can calculate the utility at both the consumption bundles or you can just draw the indifference curve and see if it, it is lying higher or not based on the preference direction but here we would choose the first one because we have already seen or calculated your utilities the utility at clearly the utility at the consumption bundle is 4.5 which is greater than the utility at this consumption bundle which is 4. So what we are able to get is that the utility at the weighted average bundle is more than the utility at extreme bundles. That means the consumer would prefer the weighted average bundle to the extreme bundle and if that is the case then we say yes the preferences are convex so that was all for this video